these documents were obtained illegally and intended to inf- interfere with the 2024 election and so chaos through our democratic process. That's what Chung said. He pointed to the Microsoft report issued Friday and its conclusion that Iranian hackers broke into the account of a high ranking official on the U.S. presidential campaign in June of 2024, which coincides with the close timing of President Trump's selection of vice presidential nominee. The Iranians know that President Trump will stop their reign of terror, just like he did in his first four years in the White House. Says any media or news outlet reporting, reprinting documents or internal communications that are doing the bidding of America's enemies are doing exactly what they want. Now, here's the funny part. When the when what was revealed, what. Hillary Clinton's campaign was doing by WikiLeaks, they said, oh, you're doing the work of Russia. (laughs) Remember when I said that Donald Trump started to look like Hillary Clinton now? (laughs) He's looking a lot like Hillary Clinton. Trump's emails were hacked. Let's get into it. This is a story that came out. It, it, for some reason, I don't see too many people talking about it. For I don't know why, but let's go here. Uh, the hacking, the hackeration just happened. And he's blaming a particular country, and it's not Russia. So let's get into this soon as this comes up. What in the world is going on here? Ah, there we go. All right. So says Donald Trump's campaign says emails were hacked. All right. So says former President Donald Trump's presidential campaign said Saturday that it has been hacked and suggests Iranian actors were involved in stealing and distributing sensitive internal documents. The campaign provided no specific evidence of Iran's involvement, but the claim comes a day after Microsoft issued a report detailing foreign agents' attempts to interfere in a U.S. campaign in 2024. Here we go again. A foreign actor interfering in our elections. Kind of like what the United States did with Venezuela? Hmm. Apparently, we're doing it all over again. It's 2016, all over again, folks. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's continue. Says the campaign provided no specific evidence of Iran's involvement. I want to make that abundantly clear. No specific evidence of Iran's involvement. But the claim comes a day after Microsoft issue report. Okay, so it says it cited an instance of Iranian military intelligence unit in June sending a spear phishing email to a high ranking official of a presidential campaign from a compromised email account of a former senior advisor. Trump campaign spokesperson Stephen Chung blamed the hack on foreign sources hostile to the United States. A spokesperson for the National Security Council said in a statement that it takes any resort of improper foreign interference extremely seriously and condemns any government or entity that attempts to undermine U.S. I'm sorry, confidence in U.S. democratic institutions, but said it deferred to the Justice Department on this matter. It's kind of funny coming from these people when they were the ones who were actually trying to undermine the Venezuelan elections that happened recently. It's like, isn't that the chamber pot calling the toilet white? Like what? Anywho, let's continue. Does Iran's mission to the United Nations, when asked about the claim of the Trump campaign, deny being involved? They say, we do not accord any credence to such reports. It says the Iranian government neither possesses nor harbors any intent or motive to interfere in the United States presidential election. Now, we all know that the whole Russiagate hoax has been debunked. 
you know, you got people like the gray zone that have done such a brilliant job with that. And so you now had, you had people like Rachel Maddow and MSNBC, Russia, 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 kept talking about Russian interference. Guaranteed, Fox News is going to keep going, Iran, Iran, Iran. They're going to talk about Iranian interference. Guess what? See, two sides of the same bird. You see, first, you had the Democratic side. Oh, my God, Russia, Putin, that. Now you're going to have what's going on with the Republican side. Oh, my God, Iran, bad. Oh. <laughs> it's stupid. They're going to try to blame interference as much as they possibly can. And guess what? If Donald Trump loses, it's going to be... It's Iran's fault. This is why we need to go after Iran. This is why we need to push for World War III with Iran. Because they try to push for World War III with Russia, especially with the proxy war in Ukraine. Guess what? We're going to have a proxy war with Iran. Through whom? That's right, folks. Israel here to save the day. Who's sons, daughters, and kids are going to be going over there to fight the Iranians alongside with the IOF? It's going to be your kids. Your kids are going to be cannon fodder. Your kids are going to have PTSD when they come home. Your kids are going to have limbs that are blown off. Why? Because they're going to fight the Iranians. Because they're going to send them. And it's not going to be the rich kids that are going to be going. It's going to be your kids that are coming from the hood. It's going to be your kids that are coming from the trailer parks that are going to be going there because your kids want health care, housing, and a decent wage. And the only way they can do it is by fighting for the wars for these corporate dictators, for these corporate parasites. That's exactly what's going to happen. And they're going to tell you that it's Iran's doing it. See, they told us about weapons of mass destruction, and then we realized, we peeped game. We were like, mm, no, nah, that's not true. We're not going to fall for that anymore. But guess what? Now they're going to say, well, they're interfering in your democracy. When in reality, we know that's not true either. Even though the United States interferes with democracies all over the world. Every accusation, every accusation is a confession. Let's continue. It says, however, Iran ha long has been suspected of running hacking campaigns targeting its enemies in the Middle East and beyond. Tehran also long has threatened to retaliate against Trump over the 2020 drone strike he ordered that killed prominent Revolutionary Guard General Qasem Soleimani. Here's the thing. And for all the people who go, oh, my God, Trump never started a new war. Yeah, but he almost got us into World War III, number one. Number two, he kept the wars that had been perpetuated up and started by people like George W. Bush, Barack Obama, and, uh, you know, and Barack Obama. He kept those wars going. So Donald Trump's hands ain't clean either. Donald Trump is still a war criminal. And then on top of that, by killing Qasem Soleimani, who was fighting ISIS. By the way, ISIS just declared... Hamas as an enemy. That tells you something, right? Qasem Soleimani was fighting ISIS. And Donald Trump took him out. What is that? The enemy of my enemy is my friend? So if Donald Trump took out Qasem Soleimani, what does he feel about ISIS? Oh, oh, I see the, see the hamster running on the wheel in your head now. I see. And weren't some of these people also trained by the CIA? Oh. I see the hamster running on the wheel in your head now. Peep this, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris they're going to be puppeted by the deep state. 
<laughs> you actually think it's Joe Biden that's running this country? It's Lloyd Austin and, and, and Anthony Blinken and Jake Sullivan and all these people. It's not actually him. Who do you think was actually running the country between 2016 and 2020? Was it actually Donald Trump? No. You guys were actually, you know, the country was actually being ran by the deep state and by his national security advisors and his secretary of states and, uh, you know, State departments, those were the people who were actually running the country. Donald Trump's just a figurehead. Do you guys do you guys realize that, right? The duopoly gets ran by the corporate powers. Anywho, let's continue. It says the US Justice Department this past week unsealed criminal charges against the Pakistani. National with ties to Iran alleged to have plotted assassination attempts against political figures in the United States, including potentially Trump, to have sought to hire purported hitmen who were actually undercover law enforcement officials. Court documents in that case potentially noted a desire by Iran to conduct operations against perceived enemies of the regime and to avenge the killing of Soleimani. Political First reported Saturday on the hack, the outlet reported that it began receiving emails on July 22nd from an anonymous account. The source and AOL email identified only as Robert passed along what appeared to be research dossier from campaign. The campaign had apparently done on Republican vice presidential nominee, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance. The document was dated February 23rd almost five months before Trump selected Vance as his running mate. Kind of makes you think, did Trump actually choose J.D. Vance? If Trump's not actually the one who chose him, then who chose him? Like I said, who was actually running the country? These documents were obtained illegally and intended to inf interfere with the 2024 election and sow chaos through our democratic process. That's what Chung said. He pointed to the Microsoft report issued Friday and its conclusion that Iranian hackers broke into the account of a high ranking official on the U.S. presidential campaign in June of 2024, which coincides with the close timing of President Trump's selection of vice presidential nominee. The Iranians know that President Trump will stop their reign of terror, just like he did in his first four years in the White House says any media or news outlet reporting, reprinting documents or internal communications that are doing the bidding of America's enemies are doing exactly what they want. Now, here's the funny part. When the, when it was revealed what Hillary Clinton's campaign was doing by WikiLeaks, they said, oh, you're doing the work of Russia. Remember when I said that Donald Trump started to look like Hillary Clinton now? <laughs> He's looking a lot like Hillary Clinton. Should I start calling Donald Trump Darth Donald or Darth Trump? Because he's looking like Darth Clinton now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Chung did not immediately respond to questions about the campaign's interactions with Microsoft on the matter. Microsoft said Saturday that it had no comment beyond its blog post and Friday report. In that report, Microsoft stated that foreign malign influence concerning 2024 U.S. elections started off slowly but has steadily picked up pace over the last six months due to initially to Russian operations, but more recently from Iranian activity. The analysis continued. Iranian cyber enabled influence operations have been a consistent feature of at least th three U.S. election cycles. Iranian operations have been notable and distinguishable from Russian campaigns for appearing later in the election season and employing cyber attacks more geared towards election conduct than swaying voters. Recent activities suggest that Iranian regime, along with the Kremlin, 
may be equally engaged in election 2024, Microsoft concluded. Specifically, the report detailed that in June 2024, the Iranian military intelligence unit, Mint Sandstorm, sent a phishing email to American presidential campaign via the compromised account of a former advisor. The phishing email contained a fake forward with a hyperlink that directs traffic through an actor controlled domain before redirecting to the listed domain. Says Vice President Kamala Harris campaign did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the reporting or or the report on the report of the hacking or the Democratic nominee cybersecurity protocols. So apparently, yes, they are trying to blame Iran on a hacking. Something doesn't smell right. Something tells me it's like, hmm, something happened. Something happened and it's, they are just looking for a, 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 a patsy, a, a, a way out. Let me share this with you guys too. This is from the Daily Beast. It says Trump's 271 page dossier of JD Vance's vulnerabilities hacked by Iran. The blurb says the Trump campaign announced it has been illegally hacked by foreign sources that leak internal documents to news organizations. Iran is the prime suspect. So it says Trump's campaign accused Iran of hack and leak operation Saturday after a 271 page dossier of J.D. Vance's vulnerabilities was sent to at least two news organizations. The internal campaign vetted report on Vance was sent to Politico and The Washington Post from an AOL.com email address, along with a document on Marco Rubio, the Florida senator who was not chosen as Donald Trump's running mate. Little Marco says hours after Politico reveal it received the materials, the Trump campaign said it had been hacked, accusing Iran of the breach. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, honey. Oh. <laughs> See, here's the thing. I'm laughing because war criminals like Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, like, they got hacked? Okay. Somebody discovered the truth about them? Okay. My question is, what truths did they discover? Because the thing is, like, <laughs> the public has the right to know. I'm not going to shoot the messenger. I would like to know exactly what vulnerabilities does J.D. Vance have? Because if he has vulnerabilities, then that means that those vulnerabilities aren't just for the campaign. Those vulnerabilities are for the country. I want to know what vulnerabilities that he have. Because if I'm an actual voter, and if I'm considering somebody like J.D. Vance, like if I was considering somebody like Kamala Harris, which I'm not, because they're both horrible human beings, but... If I were considering them, I would want to know what these vulnerabilities are so I can be a well-informed voter. Because if it has to do with their subservience to a foreign government or any vulnerabilities that could be exploited, I think that's important for us to know, should it not? Now, I'm not saying that it's right that anybody should be hacked. I'm not saying that either. What I am saying, though, is that we should judge the candidate by their vulnerabilities. Like a Donald Trump, like a J.D. Vance, like a Tim Waltz, like a Kamala Harris. We should know their vulnerabilities. We should know their weak points so that we can make an informed decision on the person who will run our executive branch.
And they're blaming this on Iran. But do they have actual evidence that it's actually a foreign country? Which they have not pointed out. Let's continue. So this dude said, oh, they know President Trump's going to go after them in their reign of terror. Yeah, reign of terror, right? Um, so says the Microsoft report cited on, uh, by Chung accused other Iranian group. This one connected with the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps of sending a phishing email in June to high ranking official or by a presidential campaign from the compromised email account of a former senior advisor. Since the email contained a link that would direct traffic through a domain controlled by the group before routing to the website that provided link, within days of this activity, the same group unsuccessfully attempted to log into an account belonging to a former presidential candidate. So, one email contained 271 page report on Vance called Entitled Potential Vulnerabilities. Robert told Politico that they had a variety of documents from Trump's legal and court documents to internal campaign discussions. And when pressed for how they obtained them, Robert responded, I suggested you don't be curious about where I got them from and answered this question will compromise me and also legally restrict you from publishing them. This is by no means first for Trump in 2020, a hacker a hacker hacked his ex account by guessing his password, quote, MAGA 2020. <laughs> this just shows the show just because somebody is a billionaire doesn't mean they're the smartest person in the room. It says Trump also allegedly had been the target of Iranian assassination plot, which resulted in a Pakistani man named Asif Merchant, which ties the Islamic Republic being charged by the DOJ on Wednesday. So, it's hilarious on his face because the thing is, it's like, my question is, why are you sending these to the Washington Post, right? Why are you sending this to more Democratic uh, Party associated um, sites? Mm -hmm. And why didn't you send this to the Harris campaign? Or why didn't you send this to the Biden campaign? Could have sent it to them, but no. Decided to send it to these two media outlets. I mean, if the Harris campaign really is about doing oppo research, then, I mean, you can't get better than that. You can have Tim Waltz figure out those vulnerabilities and then, you know, poke holes in the prospects of a Trump Vance presidency happening again. So yes, uh, you know, not good for Trump that his campaign has been, email has been hacked, but they say, they say it's Iran, just like the Clinton campaign was like, it's Russia, but actual true evidence of it happening? Where they at, though? Where, 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 where they at, though? Keep an eye on what's going on. It's about to get wild in the next three months. Thank you so very much for watching my channel, and I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative, you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash jbfon. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much, and you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. Forehead kisses, and have a beautiful day.